probably uh, goes back to 1998. Um, it was the first time I actually attended it as a spectator. Uh, seniors first win there. Uh, pretty spectacular day, but uh, um, that was my first first uh, adventure at the Daytona Speedway, and uh, moved south at the end of that year, and uh, was there as a as a mechanic in '99. Oh wow! Okay, so tell me, what was that like uh, attending the 500 on the other side of the track, on the it's, inside? I mean, the the first time you come to the garage area and you walk out onto the grass of 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 the uh, you know the tri oval, it's it's just it's awesome because you you you've looked at it from the outside or from TV for so long, but. Uh, it's what is a racer you want to be involved in. So uh, kind of cool to come to the World Series of, of our sport to start your, your career and not, not, not at the end of the season. So uh, uh, pretty, pretty awesome and uh, look forward to it every year. You worked in the industry a really long time uh, and then you worked your way up to crew chief. You kept getting promoted from the Nationwide or now Xfinity Series into the Cup Series. What was that like finally being a crew chief uh, sitting on top of the pit box for the Daytona 500 for Joey Logano? It's amazing because it's it's a whole different spectacle. Um, you, you know, your first first shot at being a crew chief in the Cup Series is is at the most important race of the year uh, to start with. But uh, um, you know, it's trying to be prepared, and I think that's the biggest thing we have to do is is keep our uh, keep everybody focused on what it is. The, the two weeks that we're down there, there's a lot of practice time. Obviously, you've got the the Sprint Unlimited that uh, you know the race the weekend before, but that's tied in with 500 qualifying. So there's the shuffling of cars between the two cars for the weekend, um, and and it's a memory that you don't forget. Now Joey was just kind of uh, kind of the new guy on the scene in the uh, Sprint Cup series. So have you guys kind of learned a lot together since uh, the first Daytona 500, the first few races you ran together? Yeah, I think uh, I think you know he stepped into the opportunity here at Team Penske and 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 owned it. And that was pretty cool. We. Uh, we, we had a lot in common with our backgrounds and, and some of the things we liked. Um, so I think we hit it off. The whole race team hit it off. And, and, and that chemistry came pretty quickly. Uh, had, a, had a good speed weeks uh, when he first came over here and, and started off with a, a good solid finishes at, in, the, in the unlimited race. I think we finished third there. And uh, um, you know it's, we had speed, we had chemistry, and it definitely was a, a building block that we just built forward to. And, uh, um, it, it's continued to grow to a, a great season last year and looking forward to a better one this year. I mean, you guys almost grabbed the championship. Congratulations, by the way. That was amazing. Yeah, it, was, uh, it, was, it was fun to be part of. It's a culmination of a lot of people's efforts here at the shop and, and everybody in the race team. And um, uh, good to have that continuity going forward to this season. Do you think, given your driving background of, of asphalt cars, do you think you can relate better to Joey Logano? I think it helps. I think uh, I think if you've if you've been in that situation. Now, obviously, I've not been in that situation in a in a Sprint Cup car, but uh, at least short track racing, uh, you understand some of the things they talk about and and, and realize that the, the level that it takes for them to be competitive. Uh, I think you can identify with that. Hi, I'm Todd Gordon, crew chief of Joey Logano's Shell Pennzoil Ford Fusion here at Team Penske. I shared my first 500 story with you. Share yours, hashtag my first 500.